I'm in Paris for the 26th Biennale des Antiquaires that has opened its doors to crowds queuing in high heels and all their finery to see some of the most exquisite art and antiques on sale. And of course, there are the jewels, of which there appear to be more than ever this year. The Biennale comes but once every two years, and increasingly for the fine jewellery makers, it is a focal point for creating their new collections for this very important event to which they invite their best customers to spend a few magnificent days in Paris. Bouchon are back at the Biennale after an absence of several years and they have arrived in grand style with a collection that takes a new look at the icons of this Place Vendôme jeweller. The results are spectacular. The snake, chameleon and ivy of the house's rich heritage are reworked into exciting and very unexpected new forms. Bulgari, under new LVMH ownership, are at the Biennale for the very first time ever and what jewels, they are bursting with colour and remind me of their creations from the 1950s. And of course, we all know who bought the Bulgari Emerald Suite and Sapphire Sortois that belonged to Elizabeth Taylor because they're right here and behind this thick plate glass are perhaps some of the most valuable jewels on this stand. Cartier's new collection is called the Dépaysement and what this collection does, it looks at the movement and shapes found in landscapes around the world. There are also pieces on show from the 1910s, 20s and 30s, including this magnificent pearl and onyx sortoir. I couldn't help but gaze at this mystery clock. The bejeweled lily mysteriously floats to tell the time. Dear Dior is the name of the new collection of high jewellery unveiled at the Biennale and created by Victoire de Castellane and it is literally an explosion of colour in outsized rings, earrings and brooches. And with all of Victoire de Castellan's work, it really never ever fails to surprise and do something completely different from what everybody else is up to. To celebrate the 80th anniversary of Gabrielle Chanel's Bijou de Diamant exhibition of 1932, Chanel has created a range of diamond jewels that echo the themes of the original collection. The motifs dear to Madame Chanel and present throughout her work include stars, comets, sun, ribbons and feathers, as well as lions because she was a Leo. Chaumet, known for the exquisite tiaras favoured by Napoleon's wives, unveils 12 separate jewellery sets, each one a part of the 12 Vendôme collection. With over 40 creations, this collection aims to combine the classic elements of Chaumet with modern touches. Despite this view to mix the past and present, pieces such as the classic tiaras look fresh and new and maintain their aristocratic charm. With 59 pieces of high jewellery, and 12 jewellery watches, Piaget has unveiled its largest collection yet and it uses a limited colour palette of white diamonds, red rubellites and black spinels and all of it is set into white gold. The collection is marked by a lightness of feeling created by open work settings and also a tendency to mix diamond cuts such as brilliance and baguettes to create a richer sparkle and a more youthful look. No one tells a story quite like Van Cleef and Arpels, and this year they have a lot to tell us as their collection called Palais de la Chance is huge. I think it is actually the biggest collection they've ever shown at the Biennale. And this collection focuses on symbols of luck from the past to the present and they span the globe looking for different interpretations of luck and its charms and symbols as well as materials. The jewels also showcase Van Cleef's keen eye for the very best gemstones in the most unusual settings. Unusual for the usually all ice white diamond king Harry Winston, this year we're seeing colour in the new water collection. For the very first time ever, Wallace Chan, a Chinese jeweller but also sculptor, has brought his creations to show the world. Now Wallace Chan is very different from anybody else here in the fact that he is a very small brand unlike the giants like Cartier or Van Cleef and his jewellery is really very different and it's so much more sculptural. They're almost like pieces of art and they have that Asian touch, that lightness as well as the most remarkable stones. Thank you.